let's take another example in the k map okay uh, this example is f the variables are a b c again a 8 cell k map summation m 1 3 6 7 okay there are three variables so 2 to the power 3 is 8 therefore 8 cell k map is involved so we will make a 8 cell k map here okay writing the msb first and lsb last 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 okay till now we have done almost everything that is required to solve a k map okay uh, we have seen why we write it as 0 1 then 1 1 not 1 0 it's already covered so we will not waste time in that we will just see some good examples and uh, something new in each and every example so in this example if we start filling it out so the 1 0 then 1 2 then 3 3 is there 4 is not here 5 is not 6 yes and 7 so these are the required positions for the 1 we are not writing 0 because it makes our map look messy now let's make the pairs of one so no i cannot see that i can make a pair of eight ones but i can make the pair of two ones so the first pair is this this is the first pair then the second pair is this one okay now you can see already all the four ones are paired so no need to pair in this way again but if you do it let's do it and give it a name three then you will find out it is actually redundant how we will write the function f one or 2 or 3 so f is 1 is what 1 is this thing the a remains the same so a is 1 because a is not changing and it is 1 and also in this b is not changing it is 1 but c is changing from 1 to 0 so a b is for this 1 for 2 a is 0 so a complement and b is changing from 0 to 1 but c is not changing it's 1 so i will neglect b and write c and for this 3 a is changing from 0 to 1 but b and c are not changing and it is b c now you remember one trick that i have explained you in the boolean algebra called as the redundancy theorem redundancy theorem and in that I explained you that when you are having three variables involved three variables involved and uh, also each variable each variable is repeated twice okay the first thing is three variable involved the second thing is each variable is repeated twice and the third variable is and the third case is or you can say the third condition for this theorem is one variable is complemented okay and if it is like then we will take the complemented variable and neglect the variables other than it so i can see that three variables involved a b c each variable is repeated twice either in a complemented or a normal form a is repeated twice b is repeated twice and c is repeated twice now i can also see that only a is complemented whereas b and c are in uncomplemented form so i will take this two and neglect this one f is equal to a b or a complement c and this b c is what it is something that we are getting from this third group of one so it's already redundant we can prove from the redundancy theorem 
and redundancy theorem is nothing but it comes from the k-map actually okay and if you want to make a truth table you can verify from there that there is no role of dc it's making something one which is already one so we can neglect it because this one and this one is already paired in this first group of one and this second group of one so this is something that um, you should keep in your mind while solving the k-map you just do not do the things which are redundant in the pairing okay so this was the first example in this lecture now we will move to our second example and uh, the second example is function f with variables a b c is equal to summation m 0 1 5 6 7 so again you can see that three variable is involved so we have to make a 8 cell k map okay now we will write the variables a b c msb first lsb last and the values of this variable or you can say that the combination different combination of this variable now we will fill the map 0 1 m1 is there so 1 2 3 5 6 7 4 5 6 7 okay now we'll start pairing them the first pair is for this two ones because this one cannot be combined in other way similarly this one can also not be combined in other way other than this now we are left with this one there are two possibilities to combine this one the first one let's do it in different color the first one is this okay and the second one the second one with this one okay so there are two ways to combine this particular one and let's see what we get the function what is the result by considering these two cases so f is let's say this is one this combination is two this is your first implicant this is your second implicant this one is your third implicant this one is your third implicant dash okay so for case one we are having one plus two plus three so one is what a and uh, b a and b similarly 2 is a complement and c is changing from 0 to 1 and b is not changing so we are having b complement and the 3 is your a b is changing from 0 to 1 so we are left with c so this is what we are having for the case 1 now let's see for case 2 the function f is 1 or 2 or 3 dash 1 and 2 will be the same but 3 is now changed in this we are having a has changed from 1 to 0 so we will neglect a and b is b bar and c is c so you can see that both of these are minimum both of these are reduced to a same extent but they are not same so I can write one conclusion in the k map you can write it as a note that the result is minimum okay but can not be but may may this is not can this is may but may, may not be the same or you can say unique 
okay so this is one important point that you should keep in your mind that I have just shown here by solving this particular function okay so this was this was the few special cases in your k-map that you should keep in your mind while solving the question now in the next lecture we will see what is the meaning of the implicants prime implicants and essential prime implicants and how to find this from a k-map so see you in the next presentation